Hello everyone, Joseph here, and I would like to have some good and bad news announcements for this Q&A announcements video. Okay, starting off with the good news. The good news is that the Coasters of Rust Season 1 Episodes 13, 14, and 15 are officially coming out soon in this Q&A. But however, every episode will be split up in just one video. Because I don't want to have episodes number 13, 14, and 15 in just one video. Because it causes the video to be slower. So that's why I expect videos I expect to be separated. However, I will expect some comments more than just 20 or 30 since I'll be putting those numbers of episodes 13, 14, and 15 in separate videos. But please remember... No inappropriate comments or more comments than 5. I can only take 5 comments in one video, or else I'll have to delete your comment. Understand? And now for the two bad newses. You, the first bad news is, you guys might be shocked for, at me for this, but I am officially delaying the Coasters of Rust Q&A series Season 2 to September of next Saturday, September 14th. Why? Because sometimes I can either be too lazy to start it right now and end season 1 during the summer, or maybe I can either have a bad day with my electronics due despite the fact that my electronics always piss me off. So yeah. So yeah, that's why it's moved to September 14th of next Saturday. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry fans, I can't help, help it when I delay projects for my future videos into different, into different random dates. It's for my own good, and I can't go back to the past now that I wish I should start making more future videos and upload them in dates. We can only move forward to the present. Again, I am so sorry for upsetting you guys, but this is for my own good. And also, here's the other, here's another bad news. The second bad news is, I am no longer using text-to-speech on my videos. Why? Because I just found out that I got a lot of comments recently that people are saying why I use text-to-speech more than just using my real voice. And people criticize me that I should use my real voice more than just using text-to-speech or an automated voice. And I got a lot of questions to people on Discord, or maybe Twitter saying, Joseph, why don't you use your real voice in some videos? Well, to tell you the truth, when I started my YouTube channel a week after my 12th birthday in 2018, I wasn't really good at reading or pronouncing words that well on my channel. And every single time I keep, I keep pronouncing them, I always keep spelling it and pronouncing them wrong. And when I look back at my videos back since when I was 14 years old, I started to feel like I've been a total fool on myself because I keep pronouncing words really wrong because I didn't know how to read better back then. So then I found out a different way how to make my content a lot better than I did back in 2018 and 2019. I used text-to-speech to help pronouncing words and read a lot better. This all happened before you guys meet me on my YouTube channel and subscribe to me. It was a success for my channel. But then some months later, I read a lot of comments of you guys founding out that I don't use my, use my real, vo real voice in some videos. Well, to be honest, I guess you guys are right about using automated voices in some of my videos. I should have used my real voice back then. But then I realized back then that I didn't know how to read better and or maybe pronounce better back then. So yeah, sorry guys, but this is for my own good so people won't criticize me or give me lots of comments or just criticize me over me not using my real voice and use an automated voice. Besides, I already know how to read better and pronounce better now. So I don't need to use text-to-speech anymore in my videos. Well anyways, that's all I have to do with this Q&A announcements and good and bad news announcements on this video. See you all in the next video. Bye.